Alrighty, so we have a set of dev notes out. I didn't see these last night, but it looks like they came out at 2 a.m., so I think I was already in bed by then. Uh, but either way, this is Director Koo from the uh, Seven Deadly Grand Cross, uh, 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 Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross team. Uh, how have you been? Nights? I'm great. Uh, <laughs> the drenching summer is nearing its end as we uh, welcome the autumn breeze. We hope all nights stay safe from weather uh, wherever you may be. I know that I think Korea has been having a really rough time with weather, so hope they're okay. Um, in this dev note, we would like to share some brief updates regarding the content improvement. Okay. Now let's dive into the dev note. Underground Labyrinth update. So a lot of people have not been super happy with how Labyrinth is playing at the moment. It's very RNG based and I can completely understand why that's super frustrating. But as somebody who kind of plays the game for a living, I guess, uh, I didn't have too many issues with it. I thought it was kind of fun, uh, but it definitely could be improved by any means. Uh, so many nights have been pl or have played and provided various feedback uh, regarding the Underground Labyrinth, the new content that we released in August. Uh, while some of you have shown your appreciation on the random elements that utilize various strategies, others have criticized the dependence on acquiring certain heroes uh, along with random factors of the roguelike genre. As mentioned in the previous dev notes, the Underground Labyrinth will feature as a regular content. The upgrade or the Underground Labyrinth will be improved based on our night's play patterns and data, uh, which we gathered during the three weeks duration of the first season. We admit that there were many areas to improve. Most notable shortcomings came from the low success rate of clearing the labyrinth. The uh, strategies or strategy our knights used to clear all stages was often based on a narrow pool of heroes to build a certain type of deck which was attack seal you basically either needed to have red gother or the better option was summer merlin and that was really annoying to have to like roll for completely understandable uh one of the factors that seemed to have contributed to our knight's loss of interest in the uh, labyrinth was restarting numerous times in order to acquire a favorable hero from an early uh phase of the stage our uh, our knights have limited to or were limited to use uh, just a few tactics to use a limited number of heroes, mainly because of how the labyrinth was formed. We feel the stage arrangement was ineffective in creating diverse routes uh, to our knights. Okay, so I'm assuming the red is the most used route. It looks like a lot of people are dodging ultimate moves. Um, yeah, I, I guess they go from start battle to normal battle, the choir, I don't know, just take the same route, I guess, each time. Or at least that's like the most used route, maybe. So, makes sense to me. Uh, let's take a look at the route of the heroes, or of the knights who have successfully cleared the underground labyrinth from the knights uh, who have cleared all floors. 70% of the knights took the route above for floor one, whereas 60% of the knights took the uh, path for floor two. 70% of people use the same route? I mean, yeah, that's definitely a problem. You want it to be a little bit more, you know, go with the flow kind of thing. You don't want it to be sort of like, oh, this is the best way to do it. Kind of. You, you want it to be more you know, have more options, go go wherever you want and still have a chance, I guess. So that is a bit concerning. The Underground Labyrinth was initially developed uh, so that knights would play without the burden of enhancing a specific set of heroes. However, we understand that our knights perceived the content as a demanding content where a good amount of time and stamina had to be invested to curb the element of luck. The fact that it's 30 stamina just to get into the Labyrinth is really dumb. Uh, there's already so much stuff you have to do you know, during the course of gameplay that costs so much stamina. Like, it, it's almost, a, I mean, like, if as long as I have the monthly bundle or whatever and I'm not having to continuously run boss battles over and over again to summon a demon, um, I can just barely get away with not having to use one stamina potion to get through my dailies. So, and that's not on top of like if I need to do guild boss for the day or if I need to do, um, you know, the, um, whatchamacallit, <clears throat> trading grotto. Sorry, I just woke up, so I'm really... Throat <laughs> groggy, I guess. Um, 
but there's so much stuff that you have to spend a lot of stamina on I don't know why they had to put a stamina cost on this like just you know if people are already trying it like a million times over to get better luck or whatever which I assume that's what they're trying to fix um, hopefully they'll get rid of the stamina cost or lower it or something because that is kind of ridiculous I already hate the fact that they just keep adding stamina cost to everything um, we are aware that the new content is currently perceived as something we had not initially had in plan, so our development team is under discussion to improve and balance the content based on your feedback and gathered data. Uh, the Underground Labyrinth is planned to be updated seasonally. Uh, we will prepare the next season with improvements to ensure more knights can enjoy. So, I mean, that's good. At least they're hearing the feedback. Hopefully they'll change a couple of things, make it a little bit... It doesn't necessarily have to be easier, but... They need to give access to better characters or, you know, whatever the case may be. Like, they don't have to drop the difficulty on, like, the actual, like, fights or anything like that. Um, but accessing certain units and stuff like that needs to be fixed. Like, you know, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, the whole point of it was, oh, you can power up whoever you want. You don't have to worry about the units or anything. So why do you have to own certain units to be able to pull them? Uh, you know, like, have them in the pool or whatever? That's really stupid. So just change that please <laughs> but anyway knighthood system additions so okay knighthoods uh the knighthood system was created with the purpose of lifting the honor of your knighthood while co cooperating with other knights sharing knowledge and developing friendships in the game currently the knighthood uh system or knighthood offers basic systems to our knights such as check-ins donations uh mission achievements and knighthood levels furthermore there are some knight uh knighthood exclusive content like the guild boss uh the knighthood competition which is guild wars uh, we admit that knighthood related updates, especially the knighthood system update, uh, is long overdue. Okay. Many knights uh, who have been actively participating in their knighthood activities and have shown their appreci or, yeah, appreciation for such content have voiced their opinions in, on additional knighthood contents. We are currently looking over, the, uh, over with plans to enhance the knighthood related functions. While the new contents are being developed, we also, or we will also consider the knights who may feel pressured when they feel forced to participate in contents that require group effort. Okay, the added knighthood system is planned to be released consecutively in the fourth quarter, and will look to encourage group activities in your knighthood. We will provide more details in the future or in further dev notes. So not really any specifics there. They're basically just saying, hey, we hear you. We're going to add new stuff to knighthoods and we're going to try to make it to where people who don't want to participate don't have to, which sounds good, I guess. Uh, quality of life update on demonic beast battle materials. Okay. We received some requests from our knights to check the holy knight materials obtained uh, from the demonic beast battles and craftable holy relics in the game. As a result, we are planning to carry out an update in September, which is this month, with a quality of life improvement to check the holy relic materials and crafting crafted holy materials uh, or crafted holy relics per demonic beast battle. Uh, you will also be able to craft holy relics directly once you have enough holy relic materials in your storage. What? As a result, we are planning to carry out an update in September with quality of life improvements to check the Holy Relic materials and craft Holy Relic per Demonic Beast Battle. What does that even mean? I don't understand what that means. That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. If you have more insight on that, let me know. If you have an idea of what they might be saying there, because I know that this is still like a translated kind of patch note. But they, I, I would imagine the English trans or the English patch notes translated a little bit better than Google Translate do. So I, I don't know. Uh, simultaneously clear event for Belmont and Original Demon. I know a lot of people were asking for this, so <clears throat> let's see how that goes. The Deathmatch simultaneously clear, er, simultaneous clear event, which has been temporarily extended, was initially released with the purpose of lessening the burden of your playtime and pressure to enhance your heroes. However, with the aim to continuously support the multiplayer content of Deathmatch, both the Demonic Beast Battle or yeah, Demonic Beast Belmoth and the original Demon were excluded from the event. As shared in a previous dev note, we will introduce or we will be introducing two new regular contents: the new final boss, the four archangels, and a new season of the underground labyrinth um we have come to a conclusion that the addition of these contents may increase the fatigue of our knights and it was 
uh, a right time to include both Demonic Beast Belmoth and Original Demon to be cleared as part of the simultaneously or simultaneous clear event in September. Okay. Moreover, unless we encounter an unexpected issue, the three previous deathmatch bosses that were initially included in the simultaneous clear <coughs> simultaneous clear event will be permanently available. Okay. So are they saying you'll be able to do this permanently, but it's going to be an event to do Belmoth and Original Demon? Is that what I'm hearing here? <coughs> we hope to see many of our knights and er, participate in the upcoming event and contents as the deathmatch playtime is soon to be shortened. Although we have many other contents and systems related updates, uh, which we haven't shared uh, in this dev note, we had to keep this dev note as sh er, short as we have yet to confirm the direction of many prospects that were being developed, uh, that are being developed. We will share more news on updates, which our knights will be excited to hear on the next dev note. We at the Seven Deadly Sense Grand Cross team always welcome your feedback, our valuable feedback. We will also always work hard to continue improving the game as always. Thank you. So kind of wish they would have given sort of like a date on when we're getting the whole like you know archangels um final boss because that's still kind of just up in limbo uh i mean it says regular contents i'm assuming it's sh it should be soon um but at the same time because i mean i don't know i think it's still like another month away or so before uh labyrinth gets updated or like comes back around to be done again so that's kind of cool i guess um the simultaneous clear event for belmoth and original demon is cool but i think most people in the game you know if you're going to do it well i mean I, I guess you can just do all three of them per day and that should definitely like cut back on some of the ones that you need to like continuously farm for because people at the moment just do the whole you know the raid glitch or whatever where you can do an infinite amount of raids with somebody else um and they just do that for hours on end like i do uh, whenever they need materials so um I don't know. Hopefully that'll lessen the burden on that a little bit. That would be kind of nice. Gotta be honest. Uh, still have no idea what the Holy Relic thing they're talking about is with Demonic Beast Battle. Uh, knighthood system improvements could be cool. I, I don't know. It just I feel like my knighthood just sort of checks in and does their guild boss if they want to. Um, I would love for more people to have access to guild wars. So I mean, it doesn't even have to be like super competitive, but if you add more knighthoods to be able to participate in guild wars like just more people can sort of reap rewards from that and i don't know just have fun with it it doesn't have to be like i don't know super crazy for every guild but i would definitely try to participate in it when i have access to it um changes to underground labyrinth sound like they're pretty good sound like they need you know to be done and that's pretty much it i don't really have anything else to go over so uh not the longest dev note not the craziest dev note nothing really specific like I don't know in like set in stone as far as like dates go besides the whole you know update coming in september for uh was it knighthoods no i think yeah that was knighthoods wasn't it um either way there's i don't know something new coming hopefully we get an archangel final boss because i do want to see that really bad i want to see what kind of cool outfits we're going to get and everything so that's pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed i know it was kind of just a talking video but kind of cool to see what they're working on but either way thank you guys so much for watching feel free to subscribe if you haven't already see you in the next one